So I've been asked many times why PC gamers don't talk about their exclusives. And to be honest with you, it's not the fact that they don't have exclusives. It's just the simple fact that we are gamers. We just want a game. We're not librarians to the point where we need to go ahead and catalog every single exclusive we had in the Dewey Decimal System. No, we just want to play games. We're not interested in what is an exclusive and what isn't exclusive. But that being said, you know, a lot of the console fans can be a bit combative and they seem to think that uh, they have a winning going on there. So I'm about to go ahead and expose something. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about PC exclusives. talk about them PC has a lot of exclusives a lot of exclusives and to be um let's put it this way I'm not going to go ahead and mention World of Warcraft it, you know obviously that's an exclusive you all know what it is let's just kind of get on with it okay so Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2 now this game actually kind of set the staple for free-to-play games there's a lot of games out there that was actually a subscription base and um, Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2 were one of the first games to actually go ahead and tell the world that you can have a premium online community without the need to charge a monthly subscription fee. After that, a lot of companies decide to follow suit and everything's been better for not only the companies, but for the gamers as well. How about Wildstar? Wildstar is actually coming up to be some of the greatest action adventure MMOs out there to date. We are looking at a game where you have eight different races, eight different classes, and you have four different kind of worldly abilities where you'll be able to go and interact with the world, such as being a builder who can actually go ahead and build motorcycles or anything and everything. It's going to be great. I can't wait to go ahead and beta test it and go ahead and play it full time. Um, Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter. Now, Neverwinter Nights, two other exclusives that were for PC, were one of my favorite, I guess this makes three exclusives then instead of just one, right? But... Neverwinter Nights were one of my favorite games for PC of all times. It was a great Dungeons & Dragons game, and ne um, Dungeons & Dragons Neverwinter takes that and continues on the trend of doing epic storytelling with fantastic graphics. Great game. You should definitely go ahead and try it out. How about The Settlers? The Settlers was actually a game where um, you actually um, started off as creating this kingdom and you would take over more kingdoms and things of that nature, but you had to start literally from scratch. A lot of people like Civilization versus Settlers. I'm vice versa. I like Settlers versus Civilization. Either way, both games are actually great. Speaking of which, Civilization. Civilization now is a tactical game where you can go ahead and start a community, um, not a community, but start a town which starts into a city which just continues to grow and nourish and you get to take over other people's kingdoms and things of that nature. It's a great game to definitely go and try out if you are of the thinking gaming variety. Now, you also have um, Spite. Um, now, Smite is a great game. It allows you to go ahead and choose which gods you want to go ahead and control. Everything from uh, Athena to Zeus to, um, let's see, Thor. Any particular god you want, you can go ahead and control these gods and you can go ahead and have five on five battles. Great game. Free to play, by the way. Just want to let you know. Speaking of free to play, here's another game that's actually free to play. StarCraft 2 and StarCraft 2 Heart of Swarm. Now, yes, there is an actual full version that actually allows you to pay for it and get everything for it, but... It does have um, a free kind of um, game sharing thing going on there, which ironically enough started on PC, was going to be on Xbox One. People started bitching about it. We lost it. Uh, but it was a great system to the point where you can go ahead and if you had the free game, you can go ahead and share your game with someone else and they could play it too. I believe also Nintendo did this as well um, with their, I think it's Game Boy, maybe Game Boy Advance games. I forget which, I'm uh, not Game Boy, but Game Boy Advance or Game Boy DS games. I forget which one, but it was one of those in which had that feature. Another game that I really like is Magicka. Now Magicka is a great game where you are a wizard who has control of eight elements, earth, fire, wind, water, shield, lightning, ice, and, and life. 
all of which you can go ahead and cast um, by itself, but you can also go ahead and cast it together. For example, if you wanted to create a fireball, that would be earth and fire, but you can also go ahead and cast more, um, put more fire on that fire um, by fireball spell. So it can be like earth, fire, 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 fire. And what happens is that when it impacts, the fire actually spreads out farther. But if you wanted to just do more of a stronger impact, you can put earth, 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 fire, and then it'll actually go ahead and hit a stronger hit back with a small radius when it explodes. Things of that nature. You can also go ahead and cast a different things such as cold. It's not I'm sorry, not it's not ice, but it's cold. Actually, the cold is the element. And what happens is that if you actually combine water with cold, you get ice. And you also, if you combine fire with water, you get steam. You have plenty of things to, <laughs> you have plenty of things to go ahead and uh and use. You know, towards your discretion. I'm sorry, I thought about steam and you know steam that is on steam. And, yeah. Anyway, you have other games like City of Steam, Darth Ball, which are two games I haven't played yet but are still great. Marvel Heroes, which is actually very similar to um, Diablo meets Marvel Comics. Uh, this one at first I was like, yeah, this is not good, but then as it continued to progress, I actually started liking it, especially if you choose a character that you like, such as Cyclops. I'm a big fan of Cyclops. I chose Cyclops. Very happy with my choice. Get the day. Uh, you also have World of Darkness. Now, World of Darkness is actually one of my favorite games, okay? Um, there was a game out there called Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines and Vamp uh, Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. These were also PC <laughs> exclusives. When it came out, it basically uh, told the story about vampires and how, as a vampire, you had multiple clans of vampires, such as the Gangrel, um, the Brugia, and some, um, what was it, um, the Meh... Mechavalian? Mechavalli? Mechavalli, I think it is. I think that's one of them. I forget exactly how to pronounce it or say it, but there was a whole bunch of different types of vampires, and so much, they had them in so good categories. You can actually go ahead and um, take any vampire you wanted and actually put them in the category, except the one from Twilight, which brings me to another um, story. I don't understand how come vampires and werewolves were scary back in, you know, when I was young, but now that I'm older, people want to date them? I don't get that. But anyway... Um, keeping on going. How about Bless and Pathfinder? Two games I don't know about, but I definitely know about Blade and Soul. Blade and Soul is going to be a new MMO where you can go ahead and where the, where the actual special effects are so goddamn over the top, you're not going to believe it. Speaking of over the top, how about over the top crapping in your pants, such as games like Slender and Amnesia. Two great games that will scare the pants off you and get them wetter. Seriously, I actually played them, didn't like it, had to turn it off. Seriously, could not sleep. No, seriously, I'm not even playing with you. EVE Online. EVE Online is a fantastic MMO, and it basically allows you to go ahead and be a kind of like a freelancer in space, a privateer, if you will, and you can go ahead and do all kinds of things within that world. Great game. Let me move the mic a little bit closer, because I know you can barely hear me. Uh, keep on going. How about Mount in, uh, Mountain Blade? Now, Mountain Blade is a great game, too. Mountain Blade actually allows you to go ahead and create an army, and you can create this army and become um, you can become a soldier for someone else, or you can become a ves um, vessel for someone else, or you become a king yourself. Everything and anything you can do, ladies and gentlemen, the sky's the limit. Let's keep on going. How about Outcast? Um, a game that I really don't know too much about. I know it is exclusive, but I haven't really looked at it yet. Um, how about Scarlet Blade? Now, Scarlet Blade, in my opinion, I'm not really too keen on it. After all, it's a game where basically it say, hey, you like half-naked women? Yeah, half naked cartoon women at that? Go ahead and play this game. Eh, not really my type. How about Shoot Mania Storm? A fast-paced, over-the-top shooting game where you literally go running across the field. You're shooting. It's epic. Definitely worth playing. Rise of the Triad, a game where it was like back in my day, back in the old days, back when Dave was Doom was first a first person shooter, and it was like not when it was first person, but when it was actually the leading first person shooter. It was a great game because Rise of the Triad came out there. You it was bloody, it was had all kinds of traps and tricks, and it was a great game. And it came back doing just the same thing, just better graphics, very good, definitely worth playing. Um, how about Age of Washu? Age of Washu is basically one of those games where it takes advantage of the movies out there that were are real popular with the whole um, Asian Kung Fu thing or wire Fu. Matter of fact, I actually played the game. It was fun because two people actually sparred and they literally stayed up in the air, literally going around in circles, literally fighting each other. It was like Dragon Ball Z, just a hell of a lot better. And no Kamehameha's. Anyway, moving on, we have Aeon. 
Aeon is actually a game where you are actually a creature with flight capabilities. You actually are flying throughout the air and it's a great game. Excuse me. Must definitely go ahead and try this one. It's actually quite beautiful, really. And you kind of, uh, I kind of enjoy the fact that they really do a lot of different types of dragons in the game. Very good. Um, how about Arma 2? Now, it has come to my attention that um, Battlefield is no longer the best looking um, or the most realistic um, military shooter out there. It is now Arma. Arma is great. I'm loving every second of it. I played a little bit of it. Um, I didn't play a lot of it of it, but I definitely watch a lot of people play it. The reason why I haven't picked it up is because Arma 3 is coming out, which is looking quite more extraordinary than Arma 2 was, if that is even possible. It's a great game. Definitely going to pick it up. You guys should try it. How about Super Monday Night Combat? Originally, it was an Xbox 360 exclusive. Then went over to the PC, and then Super Monday Night Combat was now the um, pretty much an exclusive. Great game. It's just it's very similar to Team Fortress 2, except for it's more kind of um, showmanship. You know, it's got more showmanship in it. Definitely a great game. A lot of gamers play that one to date. Definitely should go ahead and try that out. How about Warface? I haven't really played Warface. It's also a military shooter. Great game. Definitely should try it out. Command and Conquer. Also a great game. It's only come exclusive to PC. Um, you also have Dota 2, which is another game that's coming out. Uh, speaking of Dota, how about League of Legends, which is another MMO. I'm um, not MML, but it's another Dota type game that's coming out. Woo! All these exclusives. Um, you guys talking about PC don't got exclusives? I'm running out of breath here. Um, how about Firefall? Firefall is another great game. Um, haven't looked too much into it. Great game, though. I'm looking forward to um, checking it out um, on the beta here. Speaking of beta, how about Fortnite? A game where you can go ahead and actually... Um, it's very similar to... Um, uh, what is that game called? It's very similar to State of Decay. Except for it's more cartoonish. Definitely fun to play. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up as soon as it's out. Um, some great games from Sony, such as Dragon's Prophecy, or Dragon's Prophet, or Dragon's Prophecy, one or the other. Great game, it's actually really awesome. What you can actually do in this game is you can actually go ahead and raise your own dragon. That's right, you can go ahead and own your own dragon, and some dragons are like, you know, remember um, the, the movie about dragons, you know, how to train a dragon or something like that? It's just like that, except for the combat is much better. But, I mean, I've had great dragons. For example, I, um... You had one area where you had a dragon that was very similar to a raptor. At the same time, we went to another area where the dragons can actually glide. It's, it's actually quite fun. Great game. Definitely should go ahead and try that out. And how about, last but not least, you know, it's a huge list, but I had to narrow it down a lot. EverQuest 3. Now, I'm pretty confident EverQuest 3 is coming out for the PlayStation 4 as well. But as of right now, it is, in fact, a um, PC exclusive until said otherwise. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be out for the um, PlayStation 4 as well and the PlayStation 3. Definitely going to pick this game up, though, if it is for any system. I'm a big EverQuest fan. Always been. Always will be. Definitely go try it out. But we are not done. That was just the official list. The thing about PC gaming is that it goes well beyond what the official companies can do. What about these indie companies that make these great games, like Total Conversion Games? My, my favorite Total Conversion Games to date is Urban Terror. I've always been a big fan of Urban Terror. Urban Terror came out way back in the day, uh, literally by the days of Quake. It actually originally was a Quake um, Total Conversion game where it actually took the game and actually modified it so much it became a new game. Um, that was the first type of uh, big type of modding that I've ever had to witness. There was actually a Star Wars mod for Doom as well. That was the same thing. Speaking of Star Wars mod, how about Galactic Warfare, ladies and gentlemen? Galactic Warfare is another mod that was done for Call of Duty, I believe it was. Forgotten Hope 2, Black Mesa, DayZ, um, let me see, Diasporia, Just Cause 2 multiplayer. That's right, Just Cause 2 is in fact on consoles as well but just cause 2 was a total conversion to the point where it became a multiplayer game speaking of total conversions how about the sith lords restored which is basically um, um what is it star wars knights of the old republic 2 yes they actually took that and actually finished the game i hope they do the same thing with um fable 3 Speaking of uh, restoring, how about State of Decay multiplayer? That hasn't even come out yet for PC, but I'm pretty confident in the PC game, gaming community that it w the multiplayer will be added there very fast. So don't even worry about that, um, PC gamers. You already know. But it doesn't stop there. Ladies and gentlemen, how about these fan-created games like Wing Commander Vega, Sonic the Hedgehog HD, 
or Sonic the Hedgehog 2 HD. That's right. We're not talking about Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Or not, no, no. Sonic the Hedgehog HD. Great game. How about Super Mario Brothers Crossover, which is about to go into their 3.0 season. And I gotta say, I just finished playing 3.2. It's been a while since I played it. The game is beautiful. Uh, if you guys can go ahead and check out my 3 Bros All Game channel, I will be posting gameplay there very soon. How about Ria, uh, how about Roko-chan? Okay, Roko-chan is a great game. Brings back those old school Mega Man hardcore feelings where Mega Man used to whoop my ass every single time. Still continues to do it and it stays within Roko-chan. She still beat my ass. Love the game. Gotta go ahead and play it. Go ahead and check out my other, um, check out the link description below. That's my channel. My other channel, I'm going to be putting some gameplay videos on there soon. How about Abobo's um, Big Adventure? That's right, the Abobo guy from Dun uh, from um, Double Dragon is now has his own game using the 8-bit sprites. And speaking of sprites, that's another thing too. Mario Brothers Crossover. These PC gaming are going places that these other guys, these other places out there will not go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me give you an example. In Super Mario Brothers Crossover, you can literally change the graphics, well, in the 3 in the 3.0 version, you can actually choose between different versions of Mario. Say like you want to play with the old school Mario, um, like part one of Mario, like, you know, Super Mario Brothers graphics. Or you can go Super Mario Bros. 2 graphics or Super Mario Bros. 3 graphics. You know what I mean? You can actually switch out the graphics to the point where you can be playing in a regular Super Mario Bros. Matter of fact, you can play in a, um, in a um, the Super Nintendo version of Super Mario Bros. World at the same time playing with um, the characters as regular Super Mario Bros. graphics, but at the same time playing with Super Mario Bros. 2 bad guys. You know, all these things you can do only exclusive to PC. You know, and then to make it even better, you can actually go in and take the same game and actually um, and play with Link or guys from like with the guys from Contra. I forget their names right now. What is it? Um, I forget their names from Contra. Um, but you guys from Contra, you can take them from um, a little demon. And you can go ahead and from Master Blaster. The list just goes on and on. Samus Aran is in there. Uh, Mega Man is in there. Uh, Ryoko, uh, excuse me, Ryoko. Uh, Roko Chan is in there. All these guys are in that one game. That is one of the best games ever played. Like I said, go check out my other channel. Subscribe to it because I'm going to be doing gameplay videos most likely either to the end of the day or tomorrow. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you those are the exclusive. Or excuse me, those are the exclusives that you can go ahead and look forward to on PC. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't even begun to fight. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't even begun to go ahead and tell you the list of PC exclusives. I'm just giving you the short list. You guys have got to learn. When it comes down to exclusives, even exclusives, PC gaming is where it's at. You guys have a good night. Peace. Ah! <laughs>